Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals Examination course. In this module, we're going to talk about core Azure services and products. Azure Compute is an on-demand computing service for running cloud-based applications. It provides computing resources such as disk, processors, memory, networking, and operating system. These resources are available on demand and can typically be made available in minutes or even seconds. You pay only for the resources you use and only for as long as you use them. The two most common services are virtual machines and containers. Let me quickly show you how to find these compute resources in Azure portal. So now I'm in my Azure portal. I can quickly go to virtual machines and I can see that the number of virtual machines available within this subscription. I have two virtual machines. I can click on the virtual machine to see what are the details of this virtual machine. I can see the size, which says it is D2V3, which include two virtual CPUs and eight GB of memory. The status is stopped and deallocated. If I want to start the virtual machine, I can click on start. And this is going to start the virtual machine. Then I would be able to connect to the virtual machine by click on connect. And I have multiple options here, RDP, SSS, and Bastion. On the left hand side, I can see further details like disk, for example. This is where I can see what sort of a disk I have attached to this particular compute. What are the size of this VM? Right now, as I discussed before, it is D2SV3. If I would like to resize this virtual machine, I simply have to select a different compute like B2MS, for example, and click on resize. That is going to actually restart the virtual machine and resize the virtual machine. We are going to go into each of these modules in details in the upcoming sections. To create a new virtual machine or a compute, you can simply go to create a new resource. You can select a gallery image by clicking at this gallery or, or you can go under virtual machines and click on add and you can create a virtual machine from here as well. You provide the details like where do you want to keep the virtual machine, name of the virtual machine, where do you want to keep the virtual machine at which region, Availability options, you remember we talked about availability set and availability zone. If you want to get 99.9 .9 SLA, we have learned that we have to simply attach a premium disk to the virtual machine. That is done on the next step, which is disk. In this disk, I have three options, premium, standard, and normal hard disk. If I select premium hard disk, that means that I'm going to get a high performance, low latency disk attached to this VM, and I'm guaranteed to get 99.9% .9 SLA as well. And once you fill out all these details, you can simply click on review and create. That is going to create a virtual machine, just like one which we just started. I can see that my virtual machine is completely started. I can go back to the virtual machine, click on connect RDP, so I can connect to the server by just downloading this RDP file, provide the credential to sign into the server as well. And you are good to go. So now you are inside your server. You can pretty much do any activity what you want to do in the server. As you notice, the name of the server is ADVM. That is the VM we have connected. So that's how you log into a compute service. Now we have learned a type of compute service, which is virtual machine. There are other compute service we have to explore. So I'm going to let you know what are those other types of compute services in the next video. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.